Have you tried the playground test? Welcome to Strong for Life Live. This is Coach Josh Wood. I'm back and still down here in Hobart, Tasmania. It is the 5th of December, and I've been off on paternity leave because I've got a newborn. Uh, my second son was born on the 16th of November at 1.18 in the morning. His name is Thomas. I've got a Thomas and a Theodore. And things have been crazy, but things have been beautiful. So just time to get back to work, I guess. And if you're catching this for the first time, welcome. And as always, please follow, like, rate, review. Uh, it really helps it helps me know that someone is getting some value out of this because that is ultimately my goal, always to provide value and help busy parents and professionals just get a little bit more out of life. That's what I'm here to do. So if you... Uh, are catching this live. I do this live through YouTube and I do it live through the Become Strong for Life Facebook group. Uh, this is done now Tuesdays at 10 a.m., which is the time right now. Uh, otherwise, you can catch it on most streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, and now on uh, YouTube because they host podcasts. So that's pretty cool. And I'm stoked to be back and I am excited to talk about today's topic, which is the playground test. Now, this is an interesting one. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, at Coach Josh Wood, you may have come across my reel about the playground test. And this is something I came up with over my paternity because I had two weeks where I just got to spend time with my family and around the house and do things with my older son, who's three and a half, uh, and really just hang out while the baby and mama spent time together. So every morning we would go and do a different adventure, whether it was to go down to the the wharf and look at the boats, or whether it was uh, we went to the climbing gym, but we went to a lot of parks and playgrounds. And one of the things that I noticed was that I could go to the playground and have a blast like a kid and do the monkey bars and climb up all the ropes things. We have some great playgrounds here. Definitely check out that video because it shows you an example of one of the great local playgrounds climb up the things, manage to go down the slides. I'm not super big, so uh, I can actually kind of get down the slides, uh, even if it's a bit tight. But climbing up all the, the towers and the ropes and pushing Theo on the swings so he goes too high, and it's just, it's a blast. I get to have fun. But what I noticed was I was kind of usually the only parent doing that. I'm not, I'm not old. <laughs> I don't like to think of myself as too old. I'm not super young. I'm turning 35 next week. Next next month, not next week, sorry. I turn 35 next month in January, which still shocks me. I still feel like I'm in high school. But I'm at the park and there's other parents. And sometimes grandparents, but these parents aren't. They're probably in a similar age group. You know, it's 30s for the most part, maybe young 40s with the, the kids that we have. I just keep hearing kids going, Mama, Dada, come come on this thing. Come do this thing with me. Push me higher. Climb this thing. Go down the slide. And I keep hearing, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Oh, that's all I can do. I can't do that. I just, honestly, I felt embarrassed. It might be a bit mean, but I felt embarrassed because I'm looking at them and they're just normal folks. Not particularly large, not particularly small you know, 30 to 45 years old, and they're like, oh, I can't push you any higher. I can't climb up the climbing contraption. I can't climb the, or do the monkey bars, I'm just, or the, the flying box. I'm just like, I'm embarrassed. I almost felt like saying, how dare you? What are you doing? What have you been doing that you can't do the monkey bars, that you can't do the fun things with your kids. And I looked at it and I was like, this is this is a test. This is the playground test. When you go to the playground with your kids, can you do the monkey bars? Can you climb and swing and do all the fun things and run and race around? Not only can you do them, can you do them better than your child? Can you challenge your kid when they want to play run and chase and tag and catch and whatever you should be able to do those things better 
or at least some par with a, a small child. Uh, and if not, I challenge you to step up. I challenge you to start making it a priority. And you don't have to go undertake some crazy gym routine. You don't have to you don't have to hire me as your coach, but you could. You don't have to go get a new gym pass. You don't have to go buy a bunch of equipment. You have to go to the park and you have to play with your kids. And you have to do the things. You have to try them. If you can't do the monkey bars, well, you should be trying. Try the monkey bars. And then try a little harder next time. And each time, push your kid harder. Push them higher on the swings. Go on the flying fox. You're training to be strong for life. You're training to have fun in life. And that starts with just trying to keep up with your kid and not saying, oh, I can't do that. I'm too old. I I don't think it's acceptable. I think (laughs) this might be my harshest podcast. But I don't think you should be allowed to get away with that. Your kid should say, step up. You should say, step up. You know, you don't have to do acrobatics, but you have to do something. You should do something. And not just for your kid. Yes, as parents, we're always doing things for our kids. But do it for you. Because it's fun. Because it's hard. Because it brings joy. One of the things uh, my son and I did during this time was uh, we went to the local climbing gym. Rock climbing gym. Uh, It's called Rocket here in Hobart. And they have uh, this great little sort of climbing wall for kids with crash mats but they also have these tunnels these little tunnels that zigzag like under the floors and through the walls and they're dark and you have to kind of squiggle through them like a worm and you know kids love it adults like i said i'm I'm not a huge guy but there was some squeezes i went through these tunnels and it's dark and i brought a head torch and i'm like folding myself in half sideways So I've got one shoulder on the ground, one to the sky, and I'm like jackknifing around these blind corners and sliding down these dark slides. And my kid was having a blast. And I was was like, this is is a little daunting. This is a little scary. But I had also just put that post up about the playground test. And I was like, well, this counts too. I can't say these things and then not follow through. That's half the reason I use social media is to make sure that I'm keeping myself accountable because I'm assuming all of you would make fun of me if I wasn't. That was hard. That was those, those tunnels were challenging. And again, check out uh, my Instagram at coach Josh Wood and watch the, uh, into the tunnels real. (laughs) It just, they're wild and they're claustrophobic and they're hot and they're dark. And my kid's like sprinting through these little things and he's like, Dad, check it out a slide. Come check this one out. Come with me again. And I'm like, this is awful. Uh, but I'm at the ha- having a great time at the same time. And I'm challenging myself. And it's incredibly hard. But it's fun because I'm doing something different. And I'm using my body in different ways. And I'm playing with my kid on their level. Not the sitting in the long chair throwing the ball for them to chase. But chasing the ball as well. Getting out there and immersing myself in the play. In physically challenging situations. And to be completely honest, it's so hard as an adult. You know, monkey bars are harder when you weigh an adult weight. You know, in my case, it's like 77 kilos. Hanging off one hand with 77 kilos is challenging, and swinging is challenging. Swinging from bar to bar, climbing up rope ladders and stuff, it is harder as an adult. But it's not impossible. And you can learn how to get the most out of those playgrounds as well. And I think you should. And that's my challenge to you is to go out there and do the playground test. Can you do it in the first place? Can you participate in the playground play? Or do you need to work up to it a bit more? And I want to see that process. And I want you to go out there and learn to have fun doing physically challenging things. And this is sort of, you know, the whole stepping away from the gym and doing other challenging things. And if you've been following following me for a while, You'll know that I do a lot of different things. This last year, I competed in a lot of traditional archery tournaments as a new challenge. did last year, too, a little bit. Um, but I also did strongman last year. Competing strongman for the first time. Uh, and before that, what did I do before that? Uh, I don't know. It's been lots of things. I've, I've done boxing, and I've competed in, in jiu-jitsu, and powerlifting. I 
did spear fishing for a lot of, for a long time and free diving because I lived a, in a better spot for that. Um, all sorts of stuff and just taking these new challenges and running with them because they're fun and they give you something different to do is a totally acceptable and fantastic way to go about your general fitness because it keeps you interested and immersed. So have some fun with it. As much as I like lifting weights and doing work just to try and look a little better each day, it's the playground test. It's the real life joyful challenges that really add a lot of value and meaning. So I'm challenging you. I'm saying do the playground test. Go and play on the playground with your kids if you have kids. If you don't, uh, maybe not the best idea to go and play on the playground uh, at peak hour with all the other families there. But, you know, playgrounds are often deserted during the day and you can go have some fun there too. So test yourself. Try out the playground test. Let me know how it goes. Tag me in those videos. Use the hashtag playground test. I want to see. I want more people. I want more adults using playgrounds. Not just the calisthenics guys, but just normal people. Get out there, play with your kids. That's all I got for today. I probably went on too long anyway. But let me know how you go. Let me know if you have questions. Uh, and as always, thanks for tuning in. And if you're not part of the Become Strong for Life Facebook group, join us. The live stream, this, this podcast, the live streams there first. Uh, we've got a whole section of great recipes and food tips and tricks that have been put up by members of the group and our nutritionist, Abby. Some stuff by me, too. I eat pretty boring, so my recipes aren't very interesting, usually, uh, as well as people sharing their journey. And so if you're in there, share your playground tests. Let's see how you go. So thanks for tuning in, and until next week, enjoy yourselves. <laughs>